Welcome to our Tech Tips video. Today, we're tackling a question that many web developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to add a title property to elements that use the text overflow ellipsis feature. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To add a title property to elements with text overflow set to ellipsis, we first need to understand how to detect truncated text. This can be achieved using JavaScript. We'll create a function that checks if the scroll width of an element is greater than its client width. If it is, that means the text is truncated. Next, we will loop through each list item and apply the title attribute only to those that are truncated. This will allow the full text to be shown as a tooltip on hover. Finally, make sure to call this function after the DOM has fully loaded. This ensures that all elements are rendered before we check for truncation. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To add a title property to elements with text overflow set to ellipsis, we can use JavaScript. The script checks if the element's width is less than its scroll width. If it is, it sets the title to the element's text content. If not, it removes the title. The CSS for these elements includes properties like text overflow set to ellipsis, display as inline block, and overflow hidden to ensure the text is truncated properly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add a title property for elements with text overflow, you can use JavaScript to check if the content is truncated. If it is, you can add the title attribute to show the full text on hover. Here's a simple jQuery code snippet that demonstrates this process. It checks each element, creates a test element, and compares heights to decide if a title should be added. Remember, jQuery is used here for convenience, but you can achieve the same result with plain JavaScript. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.